reporting live from my friend Connie's house because we're having supper club tonight. This is Connie. She teaches at Northbrook. Hi. Hey. Connie just went to Africa um, this summer to teach teachers in Africa how to teach well. And um, she brought me back this necklace. Yay, Connie. Um, okay. So, and this proof are given is that angle one and angle two are supplementary. And that angle one is congruent to angle three. So, my first statement is, ooh, I'm going to change that font that here we go is my given okay if angle one and angle two are supplementary I know that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees that is what it means for those angles to be supplementary they add together to equal 180 degrees so my justification is well that's the definition of supplementary angles. I can spell, I promise. Okay. Then I know that angle one is congruent to angle three. I'm looking back in my given. Angle one is congruent to angle three. So this equation that I just wrote has an equal sign and angle one is congruent to angle three. That has a congruent symbol. So I want to switch that congruent symbol to an equal sign. So that way everything has the same symbol. So I'm going to switch angle one is congruent to angle three to say the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle three. Now everything is all equal signs, no more congruent symbols. And that justification is that's the definition of congruent angles. And I'm switching between angles being congruent and angles being angles measures being equal. That's the definition of congruent angles. And now I know that angle one and angle three, the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle three. I can go substitute measure of angle three into my first equation in place of measure of angle one. So my next step is the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle two equals 180. Uh, that's substitution. And now that I know that the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle two equals 180, now that shows me that angle three and angle two are supplementary. They Their measures add up to 180 degrees. That means they're supplementary. That's the definition of supplementary angles. And we're done. My proof statement is the last statement in my proof. So we're good. Bye Connie's house.